a digital twin is essentially a virtual replica of a physical object right in the context of agriculture it's essentially a mathematical model that accepts a lot of streaming data about say a, a plant a field or a, a farm uh, and builds a virtual representation of of this particular physical object these uh, digital twins essentially mimic the behavior and operations of the plant or the plot or the field or the farm yeah so so digital twins are virtual models and computational models and they continuously uh, take feeds from sensors that we put out there in the field and they update these models continuously so that they accurately represent what's going on in the physical world in in the virtual models and and that's how you know these things are you know representing uh, you know what's happening out there so we could you know ask different questions of what may happen in the real world by querying these uh, virtual models that we call digital twins. So digital twin will address major challenges in agriculture, particularly in increasing food production and also reducing the impact on the environment. Yeah, digital twins uh, can be used in multiple applications. Uh, they can be used in real-time monitoring of crop health. They can also be used uh, to optimize irrigation and fertilizer use. Digital twins um, can, be, uh, can also uh, be used for predicting crop yield under various conditions. They can also support uh, breeding decisions by simulating uh, crop performance. And the digital twins can be used to enable these uh, autonomous farming operations. And there is increasing use in using digital twins to analyze the impact of different management uh, strategies um, or agriculture policies and uh, one of the main uh, use upcoming uses of digital twin uh, is also as excellent uh, tools for education uh, where it can be used to help uh, students and professionals to better understand complex agriculture systems yes while digital twins offer great potential there are uh, technical challenges right, that require um, innovations to for us to deploy these digital twins at scale first is uh, computing requirements Second is deploying, deploying robust sensors and actuators out in the field. Third is um, the need for sophisticated artificial intelligence tools that can actually assimilate all this information to provide meaningful decisions of, that is of value to uh, the farm practitioners. So finally, deploying digital twins at a large scale uh, is, is a challenge, right? But uh, with significant advances in sensing, automation, uh, and artificial intelligence, I think this is becoming more and more achievable. Yeah, so digital twin is going to be a really important tool for future agriculture. So it's gonna really revolutionize this area we call cyber agricultural systems. And this will, you know, this helps us, uh, you know, virtually interrogate these models uh, to figure out what's going to happen, what if scenarios, and that's gonna change uh, you know how we do breeding how we do production it's going to make this more sustainable and more efficient more profitable uh, you know because this is allowing us to you know run virtual experiments and virtual what if scenario analysis uh, you know for agriculture